This is Benjamin, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing Paddington 2. Paddington 2 seamlessly blends comedy and heart for a truly charming family film. Paddington 2, once again, follows our title character, a precocious young bear living in London as part of the brown. As the film opens, Aunt Lucy is celebrating her birthday, and Paddington struggles to find a gift to buy her. He settles on a pop-up book of London at a local antique shop and takes on a series of sometimes hilarious odd jobs to pay for it. One night the book is stolen and Paddington is accused of the crime and sent to prison. The real culprit is Phoenix Buchanan, a stage actor who, uh, who is also a narcissist who plans to use the pop-up book to fund his next project, a one-man show. Paddington sets out to clear his name while the Browns work together to try to prove that Phoenix is the real criminal. Paddington 2 is such a warm, fuzzy blanket of a film. I see Paddington as a symbol of kindness in a world that needs a lot more of it. Paddington never gives up and always looks for the best in those around him. The cheerful nature of this film is even more radiant than before. I was excited to come back to Paddington's London and be reacquainted with the Browns and their quirks. I think the lesson of this film is to be kind to everyone, no matter what. Hugh Grant is great as Phoenix Buchanan. He embodies Phoenix's charisma and sly humor. His best moments are his most bizarre. And be sure to stay for the credits for one of his, the greatest moments of his performance here. I give Paddington 2 an age rating of 4 to 15 and I think adults will appreciate its positive nature. I give Paddington 2 four and a half out of five stars. This is Benjamin, reporting for Kids First, signing off. See you next time.